21st century Africa, a continent undergoing great change and finally seizing control of its image. But it's been a long battle. A hundred years ago, photography was a colonial tool. Prince George has had a royal welcome from the great Zulu nation. The time has come for the independent African state. In the post-colonial euphoria, photographers like Malik Sidibe captured the new confidence. But elsewhere, the narrative was of a corrupt, unmanageable continent, often reduced to just one image. Now, a new generation is using photography to celebrate, to question, and represent a continent on the rise. As a photographer, first I try to think as a human being. Yes, what do you want? Yeah. Yeah. For me, photography is not like an organization, like an NGO, that uh, there's a goal to develop the world, to change this, to change this. For me, photography is something very strong to communicate with someone. This is a collection of uh, different photos that are taken in different countries in Africa. So some photos I take in Mozambique, but not necessarily in Maputo. So the photos I took here was in Gaza province. Why did you want to take these pictures of people? Because I'm a photographer, and I believe in photography to change people's mind. Lorenzo, but do you actually like being a photographer? Wow, it's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Being a photographer, it's to bring the voice of people into the world. Mozambique for me is lost. It's my country, but it's lost. There's no social development. There's no middle class in Mozambique or you are very rich or you are very poor. Okay. 
When I was young, I did not have a condition for my family like to go to school. I started to work like selling things in the street for people and in town. It was difficult to go back home, so I ended up sleeping in the street, sleeping in the street after working. I started also to get uh, involved in drugs, in alcohol as a child. So it was very, very hard moment or very hard time. But for me on that time, it was like something normal, you know, like a, uh, something just to fall up. There's one guy that he used to work on a Portuguese family. They had one camera and they, they took the camera and they gave to the guy. And the guy he didn't know how to use the camera and he didn't know where to sell the camera. So he came to me and he wanted to sell the camera for me. I told him, see, I give you my cell phone and you give me the camera. The being an African photographer in Bamako. My work. When I started to get like my first prints uh, sold, so I got like a lot of cell phone to her to return back the cell phone. And that was good and she was happy of that. The light is perfect now. This is the kind of light that I like to work with. No shadows. But you know, it's, it's just the beginning, you know. It's starting, starting, it's opening, it's opening, it's opening, it's opening. Still, still a little bit dark, but it's better to arrive there early than, than late. Let's go. The garbage dump is um, a long-term project. I just went there and uh, I meet these young people there or the people that they're working there. What people they can consider garbage, it uh, maybe is not garbage for another people. I decide to go more inside of the rubbish dump to work with these people, to show the moments and to show the way that they work and to change ideas also with them. I got some footage to tell Shelly. Michelle, yeah. Put it. Hey, I don't look on them as a poor people. 
I don't look on them as the people that are suffering because I had the same experience. I look on them as human beings, as a human beings that they're living on this or on that situation. Rich people in Mozambique, they, they don't like to see this reality because they know that they have power to change it. So that's why they say, why you don't come to my house to take photo of me eating? If I take photo of this person eating, it won't want to change anything. So the problem is that these people that they're living in poverty, if I can say like that, or people that are living in justice, it's very important to show this reality because this reality has been hidden. That's why I spend my time and I spend my money working with this subject. So they know that they can find this dignity and they know that they can see themselves in this image. What are you mad No, sir. You mad Yeah, voilà. Love it. It's good, it's a nice photo. It was a nice Samara Machel for me was the best president and someone who cares a lot about the people. For me, if he was alive, this country would not be as it is today. Depois de participar de diversos festivais pelo mundo fora e ver a forma como eles organizavam os festivais, fiquei tão emocionado e E com muita pena de não existir a mesma coisa cá em Moçambique, não sabíamos onde que íamos buscar o apoio e tudo mais. Mas o que os artistas acreditaram, assim, está se realizar a exposição. Né? E, e também, em nome de todos os artistas moçambicanos, acho que nós devemos estar mais unidos e trabalhar mais. Sem a pandemia, nós podemos conseguir. Muito obrigado a todos. There's a dinner of that guy. He's a very good dinner. He wanted to make the dinner here in my neighbor. He didn't want to make it in town. A carne já está a ficar pronta, né? Já, tendo lá as reservas, que já estão com fome. Então, meu grande amigo, que seja muitas felicidades, muitos amigos e resumindo tudo que tu queres na vida.
we are going to Shokwe and we will pass by a different place to shoot. I want to take photos of Mozambique and in Shokwe I want to see what happened after the floods. Hey, Pastor. 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 Esta é a refletor. Põe lá aqui porque vamos tirar daqui a pouco. place and see what happened, what is the change there, yeah, all this consequence. And then uh, I also want to take some photos there. So that's why we are going to show them. It's a refugee camp of uh, the victims of floods in Chopin. So they live here and they improvise this place. Sometimes taking photos is boring, you know. It's not something very easy. You have to think, you have to see. And sometimes you feel like you're not connected, you know. It used to be like very full, a lot of movement, everything everywhere, you know. But now... And sometimes you invest, you want to go to one place and when you arrive there, it's not what you are expecting or uh, thinking, you know. Oh, so it's something that you need a lot of passion and you need you need to know how to relax, you know. So there's nothing. I did not take a picture of what I was expecting in terms of my vision. I did not find uh, something that can complete my project. Now, leave a camera, say. I'm going to go to the police. The police? Yes. I'm going to go to the police. I'm going to go to the police.
I like to explore a subject that uh, they are linked with the human being's life. And the, most of the, the projects they relate also to the environment and the, also the uh, imaginary environment. I mean, the environment that is a part of human beings. <laughs> For me to take photos, it's not a decision. And the, the reason I like the image is that they're very significant part of human beings' life. Hey, Final edition. We've done everything in the camera. So it's like when I was working with the film, I was not even using Photoshop. You just you have to think before you take the photo. And you have to be quick. I know if uh, I want to become the best, one of the best young photographers in the world, I know what to do. I'm not looking for condition to buy a house or things like that, but I'm looking for money to invest in my work, to travel is what I would like to do, to travel, to do my project in the country that I would like to work on. You see how good it is? You know, even with this. <laughs> books, to open my studio, to make exhibition and not waiting for a sponsor. That's, uh, that's my dream, you know, if I say that, or my imagination. Yeah. I don't have uh, what I would like to have, but I like what I have.